Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Dying Light. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay. <laughs> we're back. Oh, my goodness. I thought we were definitely going to, like, die right there or something. That would have been awful. We got to go out this way, Trev. All right, cool. Anyway, yeah, welcome back, guys. So, um, the last episode, we came into uh, quite the predicament. There's a guy holed up on top of a gas station with a machine gun, and he's just firing off rounds at us. And we've got to get there to be able to get a blueprint. We've got to be able to get there and, and, and you know, get up there and get a blueprint for, for Rice's guys. But we can't get up there with them firing at us. So we made some Molotovs. Let's see if, is there somebody that's, you know, doing like a store or something right here? Yeah, we need to go to this store. So we, we tried to get up there and we tried to, uh, try to, what's it called? Like take him out with, with Molotovs and he just, he, he was on fire but didn't kill him. So, we're in a bit of a predicament right now. We've got to find, we've got the string, but we've, we've got to find the alcohol for the Molotovs. So we're going to go to a store and hopefully we'll be able to maybe buy it in a store or maybe we can just find it. That would be ideal. Is there anybody in here? Alcohol! Damn it. Okay, we got some lock picking. Solid. Yes! No, that's coffee. What the hell is this thing? It looks interesting. Let's drop something out of our inventory. Um. A military shovel. Should do us some good. Screaming today. Is there some like big badass zombie around here that I'm not seeing? Because ev literally everybody is screaming. There's a guy down here that needs some help. Hey, it's great, right? Some valuable info? What are you talking about? Listen, I'm a civil engineer. I was working out of a firm in Old Town. Uh, Sector Zero, I guess people are calling it now. Do you know what we spend all our time on? The sewers. Now that sounds thrilling. Hey now, there's no need to be sarcastic. Orion's sewer system is a thing of beauty. If you've got the right eye for it anyway. And you know who should have the right eye for it? You. If you got a point, now would be a good time to get to it. Patient, huh? Can't wait to get out there and kill some zombies, huh? They go everywhere under the city. You name a location, you've got a sewer running about five or ten meters below the surface. See, you know you got... Fuck! <laughs> Holy shit, that scared the absolute piss out of me, dude. He was telling me a story, you asshole! You didn't even let him finish! <laughs> Oh my gosh! Well, hopefully he has something useful. Some flying stars and a baseball bat. I'll take the baseball bat. That was just so rude! Of that zombie, man. Alright. Keep searching. <gasps> yes! <laughs> Sweet baby Jesus, let's go. All right. 
We're gonna go back to this dickhead now. And we're gonna kill him this time. We gotta make sure we actually kill him this time, man. <laughs> gotta make sure we actually take him out. Ooh, hello. Just straight up sidestepped his ass. That was great. Ah! Come on right here. Boom! There we go. This is a hard lock pick. Hopefully it's got good stuff. Ooh, a sorority paddle. I'm gonna go spank some sorority girls with this bad boy. All right, a nailed plank. We're getting a lot of, oh, it's a cricket bat. <laughs> it's not a sorority battle. Oh, my fantasies come alive. All right, anyway. Let's go do this thing. Let's go kill this mother. Dude, I freaking hate this guy so much. All right. Blueprints. Uh, Maltovs. Boom. We have five Maltovs. Got to pick a good spot to where he's not going to freaking be able to kill us easily. <sighs> there are very few cars can you loot their trunks. I always check next to cars and they don't let you. But yeah, we're gonna pick a spot. We're gonna be able to get this guy. We're gonna be able to throw him on top on him. He's not gonna be able to kill us. And hopefully he'll die. <laughs> okay. Come on. See. What's going on? Oh, right there. He's got to be dead. What the fudge is this shit, dude? What keeps He's dead. Let's go. Can I pick up his gun? <laughs> we got a machine gun! Oh my gosh. All right. Um, gas pipe. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, water pipe. See ya. Not yet. Wait a sec. A freaking police rifle, dude. We gotta be careful. With great power comes great responsibility. Holy crap. 14 rounds. R3 to aim down sights. We got a gun. I'm so excited about this. All right. We gotta use it, uh, we definitely have to use it sparingly, though. That thing could get us in a lot of trouble. Very quickly. One of these guys is gonna be alive, aren't they? Like zombie alive. Get it, 
Where are we supposed to be looking? We've checked everybody. I hold on. I'm gonna take the uh, the thing off our map. Checked everybody in the area. We checked this one. Oh, oh. Okay, I got it. Hello. Good. Bring it back to me right away. You're going to be a hero around here. All right. We had to pick it up afterwards. Hey, after we flipped them over. Come over here. I'm on the antenna. Do you see me? I'm up here. I need your help. Antenna. I don't see you, I'm sorry. I gotta get back to my people, man. So you're on your own. I think it's safe to say that Rice isn't the most popular person in town, huh? No, but he is the most feared. And you know the old saying, it is better to be feared than loved if one cannot be both. Ah, uh, Machiavelli. Correct. Smart fellow, that one. I can't believe we have a gun. I am so excited about the possibilities. It's not good, we're running out of stamina. Okay, 200 meters away. Oh man, I'm so excited. Oh, I thought that was a machete. Dude, we got a gun, we got some knives, we're starting to really upgrade in terms of, um, our abilities. What the hell is that? It didn't look like one of the pukers. We're starting to upgrade in terms of weapons, but we've been careless with our, our supplies. We definitely need more alcohol, we need more med kits, and we need to treat those better. Stop begging. What is this shit? Get him. I wish I could take them out, but... Unfortunately, I can't. I guess I could've. We have a police rifle. We could've just straight up destroyed them right there, but that would've used all our ammo to attract them on zombies, so... We're gonna be smarter than that. Him? All right, here are the blueprints. Excellent. You're a lot more dependable than most of these drunks. Rise is waiting for you. Maybe we can work together again sometime. God, I hope not. <laughs> what the hell is on your shirt, bro? Okay. Well, what do you guys think? If you show them compassion, they will see it as weakness. Is he gonna hold up his word or not? My guess is no. Understand? I give you shelter, I give you bread, women, bullets, and you can a simple task. I should send every one of you to the pit. Ah, the tower lackey returns. Do you have something for me, friend? Yes, I do. Now it's time for you to give me what you promised. Two crates of Andesan. I think not. I know it. Your loyalty to the tower is nothing but blind obedience, Crane. A coward's submission to false hierarchies. You follow their rules as thoughtlessly as you follow mine, like a good little dog. Look, we had a deal. <sighs> Your people need the Antazine. Now, more than ever, I would surmise. But. A man who follows someone else's rules is no man at all. Here, I will allow you this much. You promised me two crates of it. This is only five vials. Damn! If you want more, I present you with an opportunity. The athlete, the Scorpion, Jade Aldemir. She's one of your number. Bring her to me. I have an arena where men fight for our amusement. I would have the Scorpion fight for us. 
I'm curious how long it will take for someone of her caliber to uh, break. What? No, no, forget it. I'm not doing it. I hear no true conviction in your voice, Crane. You have not yet made your choice, I can tell. Will you be a dog and save the dwellers of the tower? Or will you be a man and save the maiden? Go and think about it. All right. Well, we're kind of at a crossroads here. Rice wants us to, uh... Ah, shit. Bring back our girl. I'm not sure what we're gonna do, though, but I'll see you guys next episode. We're gonna head back to the tower, and, uh... First, we're gonna go contact the GRE, so... I'll see you guys there.